everybody out there, it's Kevin O'Connell, founder of the Niche Movement, and we're going to be doing some experimenting here. So I want to make a one to three minute short video um, at least four to five days a week. If I can do every day a week, that's the goal. And I think you'll hear a lot more from our team and from our contributing editors. But I'm here, coming here from uh, WeWork in Crystal City, right outside of DC. This is Niche Movement headquarters here on the East Coast. We have Mandy and Yamaya representing uh, the Midwest out in Chicago and soon the West Coast. Uh, more on that. But I really think it's beneficial to share what I've been learning, uh, exploring, and, 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 and trying to find my niche and get closer to happiness and, and doing the work that I love. Because I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm, I would say any given day I'm 80 to 90% of the way there. Um, so I want to start out with this first video for everybody out there that um, has been following the niche movement, following me three, four, five years ago when this all started, all the way to some of the new followers that we just picked up just yesterday or, or this past month. So I want to start with this uh, kind of statement and then close with a question. But I get asked all the time, especially when um, I'm speaking with college students and young professionals is, what does it mean to find your, the, your niche or your niche, right? And that's obviously a very big marketing word, but the way I've defined it is it's three parts. It's the part of where you're thriving, where you are just um, doing great work or you have a great skill set and you are thriving um, in your organization or in your job. The second part is where you feel challenged. Um, because I think it's important that just because you're thriving, you also want to feel challenged because if work comes too easy to you, you're just going to kind of start to give up or I know a lot of people that, have, uh, that work eight to 10 hour jobs, but they can do their job in four hours and all of a sudden they become bored and they start looking elsewhere. So being challenged is, is definitely the second key. And the third part, and this is probably the biggest thing that I've start, started to feel over the last year and a half since being on my own and leaving my full-time job is and becoming an entrepreneur is feeling invincible and I heard that from uh, live your legend is what is one thing you can do that makes you feel invinci invincible and I would really say like even making this video today or or when I do a, uh, any call with a potential client or I have to go to a networking event because I'm very introverted and shy at times but in those situations I feel invincible and I'll do whatever it takes to move the ball forward, get the project done, get a new contract, talk to a new client, make this video. Um, and so really it's that intersection of thriving, being challenged, and feeling um, invincible. And so I wanna challenge you to think of a time, or maybe it's a person, if you are struggling, that is okay. A person or a time that you've thrived and felt challenged and felt invincible. And if you can't think of the first two where, you, where you've thrived or felt challenged, what is the time that you felt invincible? Where there's blinders on, you don't care what's around you, you'll do whatever it takes to get that job done. And um, hopefully we can start unpacking that and, and going through these couple short videos and you'll start to kind of get closer to finding your niche. So thanks for watching. And if anybody wants to add some comments below or people that have found their niche or you have felt like you've been thriving and found your niche, please comment and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks guys.